In the last episode, you learned how Google Cloud Dataflow's all unique features help execute your job quickly and efficiently. In that episode, we showed you how to troubleshoot streaming jobs that weren't scaling down. But what about Dataflow jobs that don't scale up to the max number of workers? Stick around to find out. Let's get started. Dataflow jobs are not scaling up to the max number of workers despite there being a demand for more workers. This typically happens if the quota limits have been reached for your batch or streaming jobs. Be aware, developers often run into machine and network constraints set by the parent project. So you'll want to ensure the resources you request are within the applicable quota limits when running jobs. Let's see what this looks like in the console. In the Google Cloud console, go to the Dataflow Jobs page and click on your Dataflow job. Go to your Metrics tab and check out the data freshness. If it is not increasing or rather dropping, the job is in a good state. In our project, the data freshness is increasing. This indicates that the pipeline is not able to keep up with the input. For streaming jobs, navigate to the Auto Scaling tab and compare the current workers to the target workers in the Auto Scaling graph. If the target workers are more than the current workers, it means the job has a recommendation to scale up. The backlog has to be above 15 seconds for the upscaling to happen. In our case, the backlog is more than 2 minutes. Check out the CPU utilization graph. Hmm. The average CPU utilization of the workers is above 20%. Actually, it is nearly 100%. This is a clear signal that Adafruit jobs are not scaling up. As mentioned earlier, this could be caused due to exceeding the quota. So let's check the quota. Be aware, there are multiple types of quotas like number of VMs instances, CPUs, or the internal IP addresses. Let's check one by one. First, let's check the VM instances quota. Navigate to the IAM admin quotas page and apply the filters for service equals compute engine API and quotas equal VM instances. You can see in our case the complete quota for Europe Central 2 region is occupied. Keep in mind there is a limited number of virtual machines you can create in a region. If other jobs have started many virtual machines in the same region, this could be draining the project's quota. And in turn, your Dataflow job cannot further scale up. Let's check if there are any quota errors on the project level from the Matrix Explorer. Go to the Monitoring, Matrix Explorer, and put the filters for metric type equals allocation quota usage. This is another way to monitor your usage. You can see that for the instances in Europe Central 2, the usage is 240. Similarly, if there are any quota errors, you'll see the quota exceeded error under consumer quota. In our project, you can see the error compute engine instance quota is exceeded. This means that our data flow job has exceeded the VM instances quota, which is causing the workers not to scale further up. To address this issue, you can either free up the virtual machines or request an increase in the project's virtual machine quota. Other quota types that may be affecting your job include the number of virtual CPUs, since workers may be using more than one virtual CPU. Alternatively, if the job is consuming a service over the internet, you might be running out of the IP addresses quota. Freeing up these resources or requesting a quota increase should help alleviate the situation. Check out this documentation to learn more about the quota increase process. To learn more about troubleshooting auto scaling issues in Dataflow, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.